What's up guys, welcome to Smite Assault Fridays. I'm going to be trying to bring you guys an assault game type every Friday. Just to mix things up. The What assault is, is assault is on one lane, two towers, one phoenix, minotaur, no jungle, and random gods. So you don't have any control over what god you pick. If you're lucky, you might pick a god that you have some experience in. If not, you might get some random god. So for this week's episode of Assault, the game has decided to give me, as you'll see in a second, Bastet. Now Bastet I've actually played once or twice in another Assault match. So I have some experience playing with Bastet. Not a lot, maybe one, two matches at the most. So it's definitely not like I'm experienced playing that this character. But I have a general idea of how you gotta play her. I've watched others play her. So let me also say that this match is one of the most frantic assault matches I've ever played in. Things are going crazy and just stay tuned and you guys will certainly enjoy what you see. So Bastet is a physical, I believe she's a physical assassin carry. She's got a few different abilities. Her passive basically is 9 lives so she respawns faster than other people for the first 9 deaths. So I'm gonna start off just with Boots. Get myself meditation. Meditation in Conquest is not really recommended, it's kinda like the... It's kind, of, it's kind of like the noob thing to do, if you will, what some people might say. But in Assault, you need it, because in Assault, you cannot go back. There is no going back, as you'll see, the base itself is up. So yeah, as I said, she's a melee assassin carry. Let's go over her abilities a bit. Her one is a pounce, so a pounce to the, t the uh, destination, and for a few seconds after, you can hit them one again and it'll bounce you back to where you started. It's a good move to get in, get out. Two is Razor Claws. You'll do, slash out people, do some bleed damage. Three, you lash out the whip to hit someone, do bleed damage and slow them. And four, you let out three pet cats that will just go to town. And they also will have a lust for blood. So if anyone's bleeding, they'll go for them. So as you see, the game just started and already it's going crazy. I let out my cats. I got one kill right there. I think that was my cats actually. They got the kill. So already the match is 25 seconds in and there's already three deaths. So you can see this match is going to be pretty crazy. Other teams count low, so I'm trying to get a quick kill here and there. It's good to have a Ra or an Aphrodite in Assault. Those heals really help. So here I'm just trying to, I'm trying, trying to get a bleed off with my three. I miss. The other the team is respawn, so we're gonna back up a bit, let them push out from the tower. Go for three, going for a pounce, try and get some gone. Pounce back, it's getting crazy. This Artemis is screwed. Pick up another kill right there. Looking for this Anha. I get my razor claws out. Thor decides to pay us a visit. Which was a mistake on his part, I don't know what he was thinking. I'm low on mana, so I can't really do much. 
wait for my meditation to come back so I can get more in the fight. This is uh, this is I love this is I can hit my three on Yamiya outside his ultimate. Then let my cats out and my cats will chase him down a bit. Mark is pushing up a little bit fast. I try for the pounce, but I failed. Yumi has trapped them all. No, Yumi. Only trapped them all inside. An ally has been slain. I do a quick pounce to get the Sun Wukong and a pounce back, but unfortunately, that didn't work out for me. But sometimes, in assault, you have to die. So that you can buy stuff. Now their team is pretty physically stacked. So that's why I went to go buy Void Blade right away. So I get some power and some protection. You never want to have the same build all the time. I mean you want to have a set build. But you want to make it adapt. So that you can play it to what the game specifically is. So I see the all low health. I get my 3 off on Anha. Pounce over. I'm hoping they can get the uh, Ymir. Get my three on Ymir again to slow him down. I do a pounce, then I do a quick bleed. Again, Ymir is trying for his ultimate, and again, my three just picks him off from outside his range. <laughs> he needs to be very smart. The enemy team makes so much stupid decisions, but. This mark is going a bit too hard. Which is my three, another kill. That three can do some damage. It's not even maxed out, but. So why not I'm by myself, so I can't really uh, rush too much. I tried going... There why there was, I pounce out there, unleash my cats, and then just... Pound, just jump back. Then over there, I use my Razor Claws to bleed Artemis to death. An enemy has been slain. But as you see, it's, n it's not like a regular game of Smite or Conquest where it's all there's a laning phase. Especially this match, it's just everywhere you go, just non stop fighting. Some matches, it just, it's just a staring contest. This one's the exact opposite. Again, I have no mana, so I can't really poke much into the, the actual tower. As I try to run away from, from the Anna ultimate. There's a lot going on in there. Pounce out from the tower, trying to run. Door stunned me. I got three off in summer. I'm not sure if I hit. 
Oh, I killed the Thor. Okay. Like I said, in those cases, I just throw it out there and hope for the best. I got Titan's Bane from some more power, some more penetration. I figure they might build physical defense as well. I do a quick check, and I'm actually kind of surprised that at this moment I'm 7 2, having never really played Bastet. Or even know what I'm doing for some like sometimes I'm just throwing things out and going with, just going for it. Coming back to the fight, this monkey is pushing way too hard. There's the ultimate though. Gonna pounce out. Pounce back in. Get the bleed off. I killed someone else. I think I killed I killed the anthill somehow. I think I I think I hit him with my three, but that pounce when I got behind them before they even knew what was going on, I got a quick bleed off. But Pounce is a very useful ability. See? Boom. Three, two, gone. This monkey needs to die, thank god. There I just try to overwhelm Artemis, because she's by herself. If you actually watch, she's still fighting the cats back there. If it, was, if it wasn't for the tower, she might have probably been killed. I see the animal is weak. I'm trying to go for the quick kill, but I can go in and get back out. I think I got the three off on your mirror, I'm not sure actually. I could bleed on your mirror, try and kill him. Guess what time it is. Once. But if, if I do it two or three times to you, you shouldn't love by now that, that, that my range is a lot bigger than your ultimate. Constant. To Anna, get the kill, pounce back. These two are pushing way too hard. This Thor needs to learn his lesson. That monkey had zero chance. All five of us were inside with him. I pounced just because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. The Shamir is kind of stuck there. I'm just gonna try one out here as fast as I can. They're coming back. What that thought said is true. This Emir doesn't know when to properly use his ultimate. Like, especially with me around. At, at low health, I can pick him off from outside of my range. There I try to finish off the Yamiya. There I, I try to get the quick one kill, maybe two kills, and so I die. But I, I have 3600, so I buy one of my personal favorite items to buy. 
and that is trust on Hamel. Because I love slowing the enemy down. I usually buy this on my characters like Naja, Loki, Bakasura. Because once you get them stuck in there, they can't escape. Quick check of the board, and I'm 13 and 3. So I'm definitely putting in work. Definitely being that carry. Doing a quick check, seeing what else I can buy. I finished all my meditation, and I bought the beads just to help me with all those stuns. And they do have quite a few stuns in between the Sun Wukong ultimate and the the Amir freeze. So again, a quick bleed to get an easy double kill because they are both at low health. Chase after this Ymir who can't run. Get the triple kill. Here I'm just praying I can get the ultimate B quad, but don't manage to teleport away. Quick pass. A two to a three, I get the kill. Not, not, not fast enough for the quad. Oh, this monkey is, is on the. Uh, Sally the monkey escapes. So I'm just gonna push the tower a bit. Phoenix a bit. I'm trying to poke a bit, see what I can get. A lot of ultimates are on the field, drop my cast down. Got my three go. Pounce, but I didn't get hit by unfortunately. Believe the door. You see the force bound really got him stuck there. With raw health of our skill is really giving us the advantage. And the fact that they don't know how to use the ultimates correctly. So I'm gonna leap, kill the Anha, jump back out of harm's way. Let's try and get the three on me. Someone will call him by mist. Lead Artemis. Out of that. We can push pretty good, they'll they're pretty low health. Real quick to see how they're alive. I try to go after the monkey, but I miss. Gives us the time though to take down the Phoenix. Your team has destroyed a little enemy team. Here I foolishly go in. I died, but that was I have four thousand gold, so by a death bringer. You have been slain. I'm just trying to think. I got the death bringer void blade, frostbound. I was thinking a soul eater, but someone else already has one. So I don't want to and those don't stack. I 
I was debating Fatalis, but I'm mean, like, mm, Executioner. I'll just go Rage. Unfortunately, we lost one tower while me and Odin were brought down. I think Hades was down too. We got a three. There goes Anho. Tada la Yemiya. Down the Artemis, another triple kill. And a day aside. The only thing I don't like about Artemis, I mean, not Artemis, that's dead. Is that she can. I don't think she can clear minions that good. Smokey tried to, but I sped him away with a quick whip. Attack the Minotaur. I think Odin wants him to attack the Minotaur. What do you guys think? Get some heals from Ra's son. Part of, part of my meditation. That was rude. And for that, I think he must die. Being pulled in by Hades. Only the cats. They were complete. The enemy is gone. Kind of thought an Odin on getting seeing eye to eye. Artemis obviously is not going to do anything to help. So he's gone. That's a day aside. So this is pretty much a game right here. People need to learn not to stop running away. That's the game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Group So that's a final result of 23, 4, and 16. Pretty impressive for a character I've only played twice, maybe three times. So a quick thing, there's a quick look at my build. I blew everybody else away in terms of kills. A quick look. Damage. Rocks who managed to outdamage me player wise. Hope you guys enjoy that game and I'll catch you guys. And next week for another assault.